Okay, we've got two brand new Bilstein shocks for the back of my 2017 Ram 1500. Um, fairly straightforward job. You need either a stubby 21 millimeter wrench, or uh, I picked up this kit from the, the Ren Suspension Technology. Um, they basically, it comes with a wrench, or what they call a wrench, and then it comes with these two brand new nuts that are locked to these tabs so they can't spin. So if you take them off again, uh, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, they don't spin and you don't need the stubby wrench or this to get them off. So we're gonna try that out and see how that, see how that does. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tire off. Um, there are five seven eighths lug nuts. Then we're gonna take the wheel well liner off and those are eight millimeter bolts. Got to break the lug nuts loose. So now we got the lug nuts loose. Now we got to jack the truck up, okay? Okay. That's a very, very We got the tire off. Uh, the next step is to take this wheel well liner out. And we'll do that by taking out all these eight millimeter bolts or screws. go. There's a bunch of them. Just work your way around. Those are all the outer bolts out. Now we're going to take the two inner ones. Like so. Get the liner out here. This is the tricky part and the dirty part if your truck has some miles on it. And that's the dirty part. There we go. That's a tire liner. Yeah, it's a wheel well liner. All right. So this is the shock we're going to change. Um, we're going to take our wrench from the, the Ren uh, suspension. It's going to go on the back side of this nut here. We're going to pull it out. We're going to take the bottom uh, bolt out. There are 21 millimeters, or I think 13 16 will also fit, uh, but it's a tight fit. So we're going to use the 21 millimeter socket. All right, so what we need to do to get that shock out, we've got our impact gun, we've got a 21 millimeter wrench. Uh, we'll probably need our ratchet as well. And then I need to get a 21 millimeter impact socket. We'll put that on our uh, impact gun. Close that up for a minute. And then these are the pieces from, like I said, I think it's the, the Ren, the Run uh, suspension technology. Uh, I think it was about 25, 23 bucks. It came with two uh, nuts with these uh, locking tabs on them, which I already did the other side. And then it comes with this wrench to get your old nut off. This nut goes, goes around it, or the tool goes around the nut like that. And you can actually, it goes, so it pins it against, basically it pins it against the frame rail. So we're gonna come over here. It was well worth the investment. I didn't end up even needing the, the stubby wrench that I bought. All right, watch out Austin, please back up. And let's see. So we'll put, our tool on the back side of this like so i'll put a link to these in the description that way if you need them uh, i stumbled across them there we go and it does pop off occasionally okay. let me see if i can get camera back there so you can see what it looks like so hopefully the I can't see what the camera is seeing but you can see you can't get a wrench or a ratchet back here the the nut is kind of like sunken down into the frame rail so let's see if we can get this off here oops like I said it pops off occasionally um, 
So let me get this off and I'll come back. Okay, we pulled the top bolt, the nut is off the back side of it. And now I've got to get the uh, bolt out of the bottom side. We'll leave the top bolt in just to hold the shock absorber in place for now. And we got to come at it from the back side because my impact gun is too big. There we go. Bottom nut is off. Bottom bolt is off. And now we can take the top bolt out. And oh yeah, you can see, I think those are leaking a little bit, which is probably why this tire is wearing funny in this corner. All right, go ahead and try. Whoa, look at you. Look how strong you are. Look at you. You compressed the shock all the way by yourself. All right, let go. Let go. Yeah. I mean, this shock I don't think was super bad, but it does look like it was leaking at the top a little bit, um, which is probably why the tire wear is funny in this corner. Um, you can see it's... New, wet there. A new one. All right, we're gonna open up our new Bilstein shock absorber here. Um, I'll put the links to these in the description. Uh, I think that's the 4600 series. So we're gonna open that up. Take it out of the box. All right. There's our shock absorber. Throw the box over there. Sticker for your toolbox or your truck. Put that under there so the wind doesn't blow it. And we wanna leave the strap on it so it doesn't decompress all the way, otherwise it'll make it that much harder to get it into the, uh, into the truck. Yeah, this is the 4600 series. Part number is 24-187350. Like I said, I'll put that in the description as well. Um, and I'll put a link to these, the run suspension uh, pieces as well. Um, pretty awesome tool, well worth it for the 20, I think it was 25 bucks that I paid for them. So well, let's go get this in the truck. The first thing we're going to do, I just take a little bit of Never Seize, um, just a very little bit. It'll just keep, you know, you know, you'll thank yourself later on when you go to change these at 200,000 miles. This truck has about 100K on it right now. I'll throw that in there, and then we'll put this in the truck. We're going to stick this up here like so. We're gonna put our bolt through just to hold it in place. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom bolt. This, this bolt is a little tricky because while it does, while you do have the strap on it uh, to hold it, it's not, um, it's still not exactly in the right spot. Uh, actually, hold on, I goofed because the emergency brake cable is in the way over here. So we've got to put this out of the way here like this. I think I had the other side. Yeah, I had the other side going like this. So put that back in. There we go. All right. Then we will push this up. All right, Austin, remember what we did on the other side, bud? Yeah. All right, take the bolt right there. Take it, take it out of my hands, yeah. Hold it. All right, when I line this up, all right, stick it through. Oops, hold on. Stick it through, stick it in there. All right, hold on, take it. Push it through. There we go. All right, back up, please. All right, we got the bottom pin. I'm gonna put that in there like that. I'm gonna take our bottom nut. Put that on there like so. These will be torqued to about 100 foot pounds. We'll just get it down there so it's good to go. Gently snug it with the impact. There we go. 
go. We'll come back and check it with the torque wrench. Put it on the back side here. We're going to get it started. They don't give you a whole heck of a lot of room to work here. There we go. We got the thread started. Again, we're going to take our impact gun and just give it a couple. There we go. Let's check it with the torque wrench, and we'll, now we can now we can cut our strap here. So now we've pretty much officially changed the shock absorber um, in our 2017 Ram 1500. Um, we've got to put the we've got to tighten uh, torque these down to 100 foot pounds. Put our wheel well back in, put the tire back on, and we should be good to go. Um, you can see this is what it looks like now that it's in. Let me see if I can get you around the back side. Hopefully the camera will pick up on it. So you can see, I can't see what the camera's looking like, so I'll have to see in editing. Uh, but that's what the back side of it looks like with the special uh, locking nut on it. Really well worth the extra 25 bucks or so that it cost made the job a whole heck of a lot easier. You don't have to go cutting a wrench down or anything else that I've seen online. Um, just go over to Thurun Suspension. Like I said, I'll put the link in the uh, description. Not a sponsor, just happened to be a product that I found. Um, made the job a whole heck of a lot easier. So um, let's get this back together. Here, look, nope, over here. I want you to cut this for me, right here. Put your hands on the pliers. Watch your fingers. There we go. All right, pull that out of there. All right, go throw that in the trash trailer, please. Thanks, bud. I put it in the trailer already. All right, we've got to tighten these to 100 foot pounds. So I'm gonna get my torque wrench and we're gonna set it to, I think I've already got it set to 100. I got it set to 100. And, yeah, I got it set to 100 already. So we're gonna grab our 21 millimeter socket here. Put that on. And we're going to tighten it. There we go. All right. I'm going to do the bottom piece now. Put that on there. All right, there we go. Shock is torqued and in place. I'll wipe down any grease prints. And that's what the final product looks like. Um, go to our Theron uh, suspension bracket on the back here, our Bilstein 4600 series shock. And now we can put our wheel liner in, put the wheel back on, and uh, that's how you that's how you do it. Now we're gonna put our wheel well liner back in. Again, this is the tricky part. These are a bit of a pain to get in. I'll get one or two holes lined up and then I'll put a screw in just to keep it in place so it doesn't move on me again. Here you go. All right. All right, so got it mostly back into position. Got to fuss with down here. Okay, we're gonna take our impact gun here. Got it set to the lowest torque spec. Take our eight millimeter bolts. And we're just basically, or screws, whatever you wanna call them. And we're just gonna loosely put everything back together and then once I get everything in position, we'll come back and snug everything up. All right, there we go. So now we get everything lined up. together. Now it's time to put the tire back on. 
Okay, I'm gonna take the tire and we're gonna put that back on the truck. Yep, but let me get this one on so it doesn't fall off. Got our tire back on. We're gonna torque our lugs to about 100 foot-pounds in a star pattern. Can I jack the truck down there? No. This one. Two. Three. Four. What do you need, Ada? Five. And then I just go back and check them. There we go. Make sure you pull your security bit off and take the tension off your torque wrench. And then you can clean up and put all your tools away. Overall, not a hard job to do in your driveway or garage. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, I can't remember what the shocks cost me. I wanna say they were, I wanna say a hundred bucks a piece. I'd have to look. Um, and then the tool kit was like 25 bucks. So not a bad job if you have the right tools. Um, pretty easy to do. Uh, in your driveway. So hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you did like it, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button below. If you didn't, you can click the thumbs down and I'll see you in the next video.